cup of the word here on Friday. We're in Proverbs chapter 12. Proverbs 12 it, it continues with that pattern of miscellaneous uh, collections of contrasting statements. And so we'll, we'll try and focus on a couple that are either particularly powerful or a little uh, unique so that it, it might be hard to understand. Verse 4 deals with the power of a woman, the power of a wife, that she can bring her husband to the crown of royalty, or she can be rottenness to his bones, the worst case of osteoporosis ever. Uh, a wife and a woman has the power to change the world in a way that men simply cannot. And Proverbs really spends a lot of time bringing that out, that the, the, the woman in the home and in uh, the, the marriage has a power to change everything for good or for bad. Verse 10 deals with an interesting concept that we don't think about a lot, but uh, that the Bible talks about the way a man treats his animals. And so your, your Bible does talk about uh, animal welfare and that how a man treats his animals is a reflection of his character. And a man that treats his animals poorly is a reflection of a, a poor character. Uh, then down uh, further down it talks about a, a fool and how a fool doesn't feel foolish. That The problem with foolishness is that it doesn't feel stupid. It feels smart in the moment. So you just, you just follow the path and you say, this will turn out great. Then you get down about uh, verse 27 and it talks about hard work versus laziness and, and it compares it to hunting. That just like a hunter rarely catches his first prey, the only way you bring home food and put it on the table if you're a hunter is to keep going and eventually one of the traps gets something or eventually one of the arrows hits home or eventually one of your hunting spots there's a deer there. It takes diligence in the same way that is true in all of life. That hard work isn't about success the first time but it's about diligently going after it over and over and over again and eventually you will catch your prey. The lazy man gives up before he's even started. That's your Daily Cup, a collection of Proverbs about life. And we'll see you next week.